All right, what's up, everybody? This is Chuck It's Crucible with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So today we are here in the city of Henderson in a master plan community called Anthem Country Club. So this home that we are going to be touring today is 10,333 square feet. Has a total of seven bedrooms, a den, a loft. It was built in 2006. The asking price is three million. And I wanted to say thank you to Crystal with Simply Vegas, allowing us to review this property. This property has a basement, also a casita as well, and a total of a 10 car garage. Now this community is fully guard gated. This neighborhood is also gated too as well. You can see how beautiful the homes are in this neighborhood. Now this video is going to be a little bit longer than usual because it's almost 11,000 square feet for this home. So we're going to do a full in-depth video tour. This property has views of the Las Vegas Strip and nestled right in a golf course. Not too sure what hole it is, so looks like on this side of the home, we got one, two, three, four car garage. But as you can see, the garage has a 12 foot garage door here. Let's come on over here. And the casita is located here on this side over here. So here's your power box gas love the uh, stone driveway this will also take you access into the house but we're gonna go in front of the house here This door is that access into the uh, casita. Nice iron door there. You got the Spanish or the Santa Fe texture with the Spanish tile. This home was built in 2006. A little bit chilly today. Very chilly. This homes are asking 290 a square foot. Home is really well maintained for the year it was built here. If you want more information, click on the link in the description below. Love that stack stone, the iron doors here. Got a lot of vegetation. And a waterfall as we come in. Right into a fireplace. Beautiful courtyard. Got two ponds. Wow, look at this, even have like speakers on the uh, the outside here too as well. Look how beautiful these iron doors are. All right, let's go inside here. Now this home is fully equipped here. Give me a second while I lock the door. Right on and look at it. Bang. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I'm gonna start back here. The front of the home. You got some beautiful iron doors. Also, what I like about these iron doors, these windows right here, you can actually open them up, let the breeze come in. 
you have full alarm system. Now you have to understand that this home was built in 2006. This thing was fully equipped. The original owner of this home was a um, contractor or builder. Now, what I like about this home because it's 10,000 square feet, imagine turning on all the lights, right? So here you just hit one switch and all the lights turn on. So you have that option. Look at that. I don't even know where to start, folks. You know what? Uh, the other thing is that there's two master bedrooms. So let, let's just start off on this side here. Yeah, we're going to go here. So this is the office, 12 foot ceilings. Nice fireplace. You got the double tray ceilings. You have speakers. Here's your uh, French doors here. Takes you back out to the courtyard. Dual pane windows on here, okay. Uh, these are not tinted, these are the uh, low E. You have your fireplace, your mantle. Heat Glow, which is a great company that builds fireplaces. All the uh, doors here are all solid doors. Now this is what I wanted to show you here. You can actually hit the gate, the fireplace, okay? You can uh, pretty much turn everything on from these little panels or these switches here. But I'll show you the switch inside the master. I just wanted to show that real quick. Here's your walk-in closet. You have a two and a half inch casing on the door. Home does come equipped with central vac. If you guys don't know what central vac is, you'll have this little uh, device around the whole house or, or this outlet, whatever you want to call it. You plug in your holes here. Bathroom has nice charbatine tile. This looks like 16 by 16. Ooh, I do love that little uh, trim right there. Nice cast iron tub. I love the fact that they just didn't throw a shower rod. Thirty-six inch vanities here. Look at this, aluminum uh, sides here. Now this, during this time, was fully ahead of its time when they built this home. I love this granite stone. Look at the beveled edge on it. Undermounted sink, frame mirror. Now let's come down here to the basement. The floor in here is all travertine. All right, here's your elevator. To the left is another garage. Ceilings in here about nine feet. So these are just a tandem garage here. Very large. And this takes you back up to the front of the house. So that's a door to get back into the house. Okay. This is just probably storage. Let's see what this goes to. So another storage. 
We have the AC unit here. This one is a R22 unit, type of refrigerant. Again, here's the elevator. Oh, wow, look at this. Theater room. Oh, I love how they built that uh, theater room right there using this accent wall for a wine chiller or a wine cellar. Not too sure how large the screen is, but let me come back over here. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So they made this wall and you have glass on this side. I don't know if you guys can see that there. Look at that, that's just gorgeous. Beautiful accent wall. Love how they incorporated that. Projection screen. This room is probably about 20, about 22 feet. Six chairs. Now let's take a look at this. We got nice stone, iron doors for the wine cellar. Okay, so we came up this way, so let's take a look down this way here. Wow, look at this. You got a nice baseboards here. I think they're eight inch baseboards. Okay, so the toilet is underneath the Staircase it is a little bit dark. It's a little bit dark. Appliances, not appliances, but the um, toilet's black. Also, the vanity as well. This is the other axis for the garage. Okay. And this should take you out to the front. Okay. Perfect. So we have an alarm down here to set. Let's take a look at this wine chiller. Let's see if it's a true wine. It's actually a wine cellar. Ooh, this is gorgeous. I really wish you guys could see this, but it's very hard. Let's see if I can get the light on the back side here, here we go. So all your wine stuff would go on these racks. And take a look at it. Look at the woodwork on this thing. Now, these stairs take you all the way up to the main floor up here. I'm not gonna go up these stairs. I wanna go back up this way. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll go back up these stairs. So let's go this way here. No, we're gonna go up the stairs. Also, I wanted to show you the, uh, the stone work here. Love the uh, stone. Feels like we're in Italy or something like that. I've never been there, so from what I've seen on TV. All right, let's go upstairs. Beautiful spiral staircase. Here we are, back to the main floor. Here we go. Nice heavy door. Okay. So remember, when we came in, this is the front here. All right. We went down this way, we started this way to that room, down this way down to the basement, okay? Here's the uh, the elevators. We're not gonna use the elevator. Now we're gonna go to the master. Master has a French door. So you can go to the left for the bathroom. And you can go to the right. Master. Look how large this master is. 
as we come in we have nice custom carpet ceilings on this one I believe they are 12 feet I'm not too sure if it's 12 let's see here 8 that's 10 yeah 12 feet on here we have tray ceilings look at that fan crazy you got speakers all the way around you got a nice fireplace huge mantle it's gorgeous Let's see what kind of stone this is I don't think that is real stone. This will take you out to the back. You know what? We're not gonna not gonna share that with you just yet. On this one, look at this. This home was way before its time. Zero threshold on this. That's gorgeous. The other thing I wanted to show you too is if you like it, look at the windows. There's trim on the windows. Look at the casing on it. I mean, that's attention to detail right there, right? Again, we got central vac, alarm system. Now, this is where I was telling you about you can hit house on or off, and that really turns everything on and off ceiling fans, fireplaces, and all that. And I thought that was pretty cool. Now coming into the master bath. Oh my gosh. Oh look at this. Off to the left. We have a sink in the cabinet here. Mm, gorgeous. Look at this. Roman tub. Jacuzzi. Wow, look at the stone here. Look at this vanity. Nice marble. Undermounted sink. We got speakers. I love the fact that it's got this little outdoor here. Nice aluminum slides, definitely quality, you can tell. So here's the uh, the side yard here. Now the home is facing west. So it looks like all your condensers are back here hidden, which is pretty kind of kind of cool, I like that. Now these are full pocket doors, okay? Which means the doors go all the way inside. Look at the stone here. Isn't that gorgeous? Stone work. Ooh, I love this. I love how they took this granite. Use the granite as casing around the door. And I love the fact that you have this a uh, window that pivots to let the steam in and out. I, that's a great idea. Now as we come up to a six inch curb. Definitely spa like. Steam shower. Definitely enough for two people, that's for sure. That's it. This is gorgeous. I love it. Now, you got to appreciate a home like this. Like, 
you know, everybody's going for that modern type of look and all that stuff, which, which is cool because I really enjoy it. The modern is a microwave. And you have a refrigerator here. But as far as like homes in general, I just appreciate designs of homes. It's like, it's like if you're into cars, you know? Toilet. And you got your vessel sink. Oh, this is like a limestone, look at this. Ooh, this is hot. Wow, we are into this for 20 minutes already. We're only on the north wing of the home. Wow, this is creative. Let's see here. Never seen that before. Yeah, like a see-through plexi doors here. Jewelry here, socks, ties, soft shuts. Don't tell me this is an ironing board. Oh, yeah, electric ironing board. Cool. And we're right here, just the mirror so that way you can see yourself. So there's another mass bedroom upstairs. Let's take a look at the powder room here. That's it. Oh, I love this. Stone and how they etched the stone here, kept it all natural here. Dude, that's it. Love that. And look at the architectural design here too as well. It's just not a square bathroom. Out to the living room. Fireplace. Take a look at this. You got the tray ceiling. Look at all the uh, designs here. The lights and everything. Oh man, it's like gorgeous. Gorgeous. Chandelier. Fireplace. I don't think this is real stone though. It's like a plaster. Very heavy plaster though. Zoom back up here again. Pan up here. Gonna go back around this way. So this is just storage. Even the closet doors are nice and heavy. Home is you can tell like homes are well made. Ah, uh, what's down this way? So we have ten foot ceilings down this way. Okay. Oh, we'll come down this hallway here. This would definitely be a fun place to play hiding with seek, that's for sure. Twelve foot ceilings here in the bedroom. 
I love these closet doors where you just pull out. There's old school crank windows. Check this out right this. Get a seat to this. Oh, oh it's this way. Oh, you know what? Maybe I gotta unlock it first. Let's see if I can do it now. There you go. See this how it works? Isn't that cool? Oh now the breeze just comes in. So this room is right next to the courtyard there. Kind of cool mechanism, huh? Shift this all the way. And lock it. There we go. Bedroom has its own bath. And we have some nice tile work. Shower routine. Tub shower combo. Love the fact that we have a nice high vanity on here. Beautiful double edge on the stone. Let's go down this way. Right above here we have your return lines, your filter. Coming into the laundry room. The washer and dryer are not included in the sale of this transaction. I'm not too sure why, but I mean, everything is negotiable. I'll leave these high cabinets here. Wow. You got granite on the backsplash. Splash. Backsplash. You got your sink. This is not a regular. This is a cast iron sink, so spend some money on here. Here is their utility. Wow, so this is all built in. This is really nice. Utility system. Oh, look how large that is. That's like at least five feet. Ample closet space or storage space. Right here we have a ironing board. I've never used one of these. If you guys used this before, let me know. They work pretty good. So that's where we came from. Let's see if we go down this way is the garage, right? And also the kitchen. So coming through here. We have what the five car garage. Okay, so now we have the five car garage here. Love the fact that this garage does have some windows. I definitely would epoxy this for sure. So we looks like we do have a couple cutouts for a reason. Not too sure why. But remember, the seller will disclose that to you with a uh, SRPD, Seller Real Property Disclosure Form. Wow, look at this. Purification system. Dang, this thing's fully equipped, boy. Look at that. Soft water, too. Cool. Another AC unit. So off to the right here takes you into the kitchen. I'm gonna take you back here so that way you guys get your bearings. And here was the, the front of the home, the entryway. Oh, here's the smart system of the home right here. Wow. 
Wow, look at this system. That's crazy. Definitely a little bit hot in here. Okay. So let's take a look at here. This is almost like the center of your house here because here's the, um, the living room. All right. The entry. One bedroom down here. Kitchen. And full family room here. What I wanted to show you. That's hot. That's hot, bad boy. Coming into the family room. Very large family room. This thing is gorgeous. Now, there's so much to this home, it's unbelievable. Okay. Now, let's start off with this beautiful bar area. You have two steps that come down. You have some nice cabinetry, monogram appliances. Look at this, your built-in. I was gonna say a, a pot drawer, but I don't know what you would use that for. I thought that was actually the, uh, the cooler where you put your beers. Sink. Not working. I love this. I don't know if you guys can really see this, but you have like a six foot window on this corner right here. Full strip view with the uh, the pool, but we'll get into that in just a minute. Here's your full system equipment right here where you can your full electronics, you can do the lights. The spa, the waterfall has all that. I want to come back down to this stone work here. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Now, if you take a ceiling, we have some coffered ceilings with lights and sounds throughout. And I mean, take a look at all this trim and design. That's just gorgeous. Now look at this fireplace. Look at this mantle here. This mantle is at least six feet tall. I mean, I mean take a look at this. Look how tall this thing is, right? Crazy. Also, did you guys, oh, real quick. You like my mask that I made too? Look at it. Work, works pretty good. Look at this kitchen. I love this kitchen. Beautiful galley. I don't know if that's extra storage or not. Let's see. Nope, it's all decorative. I love the uh, different color tones of the uh, the wood here. Let's take a look at this. This should be a trip. compactor, which is I can't open. Dishwasher. I don't know why I always have trouble opening up doors and stuff. Oh, wow, look at this sink right here. Very industrial. And damn, take a look at this gooseneck on this. This is like a a three foot gooseneck. <laughs> Very industrial. That's crazy. Then here we have the uh, second dishwasher. Come on the, uh, the island here. Nice pot doors. Where you wash all your vegetables. Look at this, it has a built in steamer for your vegetables. 
and it looks like they did the wolf countertops five burner with the full griddle here. And then you got your hot rack. And microwave built in sub zero refrigerator. You got your double stack oven. home has a lot in detail. I mean, there is a lot. Let's take a look at this pantry. Hey, can't find the switch for the pantry. But this gives you an idea. Pantry goes along with that a bit more. Okay, so the pantry just turns on, but still you can't really see, see it because it's so dark. Nice, right? You also got sounds, recessed lighting all the way around inside the kitchen here. And I love this little nook area. Now, take a look at this. You have some beautiful stonework here. And what I like about this is that you have a nine foot slide here with a zero threshold. Now, think about this. You can open this up. You can open this up to your little garden or your little court area, right? You can open the one back up there. Then you can do your pocket doors here. And just the breeze alone to go through here is gonna be amazing. But I love that stone on that wall. And take a look at this architectural design on the ceiling here. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, take a look at that. That is awesome. Aluminum slides, zero threshold. You hear that zen? Very humid in here. It's got speakers. It's got a skylight, come in. I feel like I'm in the jungle. Oh, and take a look at this. It's got some koi fish. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, I'll take you guys out to the back here. Ready for some jaw dropping views. I mean, look at this folks here's a jacuzzi I'm just gonna walk all the way up here I want you to take a look at this isn't that amazing right there you can see the uh, Legion Stadium Golf course here. I've never played at this golf course before. I mean, look how beautiful these homes are. You got your view fencing. Take a look at this. This thing is just gorgeous. It's no better than this, folks. So look at this. I mean, you have a nice waterfall here. The pool, beautiful pool deck. You got some nice rough edging on here. Here's your jacuzzi. Look how huge this jacuzzi is. All the stonework. Look at this. You got a nice little fire pit here. Here's your little boy pond again. 
You guys see the fishies? Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Take a look at that. That's just gorgeous. You got your little putting green here. Give you a different uh, perspective here. Nice, right? So off to the side here, we have the casita, private casita. I'm gonna take you on this side real quick. Before we go into the uh, casita, here's all your pool pumps, the filter, the heater. Also, did you notice the walls are textured too as well? And all your condensers. Remember, when you purchase a home or any home in Vegas, you probably want to find out what the utility bills are too as well. So that way you're not shocked when you move in. So let's get into this casita here. So we got some French doors that take you back out to the backyard. Beautiful windows. You got some high ceilings. Gorgeous, right? Tray ceilings. Let's see what this is. Storage space here. Same thing. Storage space. Okay. I thought I knew what I was talking about. That's the uh, air conditioning unit. <laughs> this takes you out to that one 12 foot uh, garage door. Okay. You got your central vac here. And this will take you out to this little courtyard area to give you entry and access back to the house. And here's the kitchen, family room. This right here would be your access to your private courtyard. I mean, uh, to your private um, casita. So remember, here was the uh, initial, what, three car garage right here. And not including your RV or your mini V. Wow, we are into this video for 42 minutes, folks. 42 minutes. But we still have the second floor to do. That's what happens when you look at a 10,000 square feet house. Nice high vanity. You got your tub shower combo. Here again. All right. Wow, this is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Here's your grill. Now, folks, this is not attached to the property, so that's something if you want. Keep in mind, you're gonna have to negotiate that. Ooh, this is hot. And there was your spa. Overflows right into the, uh, the pool here. Back here is your master, your main master, remember that? We didn't go through here, we talked about it. I wasn't turning on the waterfall, but I didn't want to go through that whole process. So here is the side yard, remember, for the master bathroom where we came out through the back here. So I mean, this is pretty much it. I mean, this is a beautiful backyard. 
talking about Oasis, huh? This is the best part right here. I just love this part. I love that uh, window too right there. That's cool. Now let's go back inside. And we're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna go this way though. This would definitely be a uh, pretty fun house to play some hide and go seek, wouldn't it? All right, we're gonna go upstairs here. Carpets are nice and plush. Definitely uh, A grade on the uh, the padding here. Feels like a, a five pound or eight pound pad. Okay, so as we come upstairs, here's a landing. As we come up on the landing, we have stairs to go here, go out here to the balcony, and over here. I guess we'll start off on this side, see what, what, what we have here. So this is pretty interesting. Not too sure what this is called. So the master's on that side, okay, you got a balcony here. Look at the architecture design on here. Got some French doors that take you out. Okay. Guys, why am I having such a problem opening the doors? <laughs> Is this really going on right now? Okay guys, oh my gosh. So here's a little balcony for the front of the courtyard. Obviously, I always have problems, I can't go outside. I'm such a big dummy, so oh well, we're not going outside. So here's your hot water heater upstairs, you got two of them. Well, I can imagine what the electricity bill on this house is every month. That's the elevator. It's on the uh, first floor, so it's locked right now. Wow, look how large this room is. You got a double tray. You got can lighting, ceiling fan. You got the speakers. You got the French doors that take you out to the balcony. Here's the front of the home. I'm gonna try this one more time. One more time. Okay. See how easy it was on this one? So it wasn't me. So that was the balcony that we should have went on. And here's another balcony across the way there and the beautiful courtyard. Oh, Romeo, my Romeo. I don't know if you guys got that or not. Just trying to make a joke. Okay, so now, locking mechanism. Right there. Boom, perfect. Coming into the bathroom. Let's take a look at this bathroom. Carpet transitions into travertine tile. Again, you have same type of cabinets, countertops. This has a three quarter bath. Nice tile work all up to the top. And this bathroom has a walk in closet. Which is really nice. Let's take a look at this master now the master transitions to uh, 6 by 48 on the wood flooring here nice high 12 foot ceilings this one has a French door out to the balcony 
man, if he had kids, this would be a good place to play hide and go seek and tag. And man, if I was like 13, I'd be crawling on these rails, jumping from one rail to the other. And you know how fun that would be? See, nowadays I can't do that. Man, I'll end up breaking something easy. Body does not recover like it used to be, or it used to. Okay, pretty much all the same here. Definitely. Nice work done, me. I mean, look at the attention to detail right here. I mean, okay, so they put this um, design stone here, right here across, but they could have just stopped it here. But look at this, they took it all the way to the end. I mean, just, just things like that, attention to detail. That's just crazy. Cast arms. Tub. Also, you got the balcony out here too as well. I'm not gonna go out to this balcony. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out to the main balcony and walk all the way around. It's got central back here. Ooh, never seen this before. What is this right here? I'm not too sure what this is. I've seen a couple of this around the home. Let me know what this is right here. Well, technically, is this like three masters? Yeah, I guess this could be like three masters if you wanted to. Wow, look at that. That's just gorgeous. I think I'm feeling this one right here, this room right here. I mean, look at this corner window again I'm loving that love the fireplace you can wake up see the Las Vegas strip that is gorgeous I'm, I'm loving this room so this one has its own private balcony take a look at that again Oh no. I was worried about if this thing locked on me. I was like, oh hell no, I would have to jump downstairs. Do a mission impossible. And that I didn't want to do. Wow, this room is very large. If you want the measurements, click on the link in the description below. Wow, I love the architectural design now sit to the left here we have a closet so this is the second master actually wow That other room wasn't a master. This is considered the master. But the crazy thing about it was that room over there was so damn big, I thought it was the master bedroom. It's just a big room. Like that room is bigger than my master bedroom at home. Refrigerator, sink, full kitchen net. All you need is just a little griddle stove or something. I don't know. Never have to go downstairs. Here's the little balcony for the courtyard, but I'm not gonna go out there. To the left, we have our toilet and bidet. Bidet, bidet. Take a look at this, just, again, man, just the architectural design on everything, I mean. These are the kind of things you gotta really appreciate. These are the things that I just like really enjoy when I look at homes. You know how like, you're a car fanatic? Well, I'm a house fanatic. 
Dude, look at all this marble. Now the walls here, these are just porcelain tile, it looks like. Steam shower. Wow, one, almost one hour into this video. Here. Stick with this, there's probably just storage. Yeah, this is where they're storing the, uh, the AC unit. <laughs> Furnace. Wow, we got a fireplace on the outside here. Here's the uh, that bedroom where I thought it was a master bedroom. As you can see, there's spikes all around here. That means they were having um, pigeon problems some, at one point. I want to say it's a problem, but you know, a lot of these houses will have um, or should have spikes, so that way you don't have those problems because pigeons like to perch up and hang out, and they just never go away. Kind of cool. You got a gas stub right here. You get to throw a grill. Let's take a look at this. This is nice, all right. I'm not even gonna go in that one uh, door there. Probably just storage. Curious to hear what you guys' thoughts are. If you are interested in purchasing a home. We do provide a service where we do full video tours of the home for private video tours for people that are interested in purchasing a home like this. So we can literally walk you through this home while you are sitting at home on your couch or in your bed. Let me know if uh, you think this property is worth $260 a uh, square foot on this home. Okay. Also, let me give you a little bit more information here before I finish this video. The HOAs on this home are $961. That's right, $961 a month. Property taxes on here. Got to find it. Hold on. Twenty-seven thousand eighty-three dollars for this home. If you are interested, earnest money deposit is a hundred thousand dollars. Again, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this property. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, uh, please support this channel. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas. And have a blessed day. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my.